Hi guys, Peter Finch here. Welcome now to the Quest Golf Academy and the next video in the Golf Along series. Now this is all about body alignments and then what you need to be doing with your hip and your shoulder tilts before you hit the ball. So we've already talked about how you can get the club face better aligned throughout the swing, but then what do you need to be doing with the body? How do you relate how you stand at the side of the ball to target line and how is that going to affect path, club face and what you're going to be doing with your overall shot shape. So the first thing to actually realise is with alignment, in the most general terms, you are not aiming your body down target line. Your body is parallel and to the left of your target line and that's an important difference that not a lot of people understand. So to explain this in its most simple form, I've got these alignment sticks set up. Now remember, for the Golf Along series of videos, you do need some alignment sticks to help guide you within your practice. Now I've got the two lines set up, so I've got my target line here with the ball in between these two alignment sticks, and then I've got this line here along my toes which represents my body aim. Now because I'm stood to the side of the golf ball, my body is parallel and to the left of my target line, and therefore my body will never never aim at the eventual target. Now the reason for this is as I swing, all my swing is operating on the inside of the target line before I return down to impact, before again it moves along the inside of the target line again. So it's an important difference to understand that you are stood at the side of the ball and because of that your swing is operating around the inside of the target line until you actually approach the low point of your swing. Now the difference is, to this aim, if you were to move your body to the right, therefore your swing would operate more inward, and then it would operate more out and over the target line as you hit, and then as you start to aim more left, club will go more outside to begin with, and then it will move more left through the target line as you hit. Now again, you can adapt your body positions to alter path, and then that will alter the eventual shape of the shot depending on where the club face is aiming at the point of impact. But to try and hit the most neutral ball flights, setting up with a parallel alignment is very important. Now there are other things that are aiming within your setup, not just the feet and not just the club face, because how you set your knees, your hips and your shoulders will also affect the path of the golf club and also things like angle of attack. Now as you're stood at the side of the golf ball, if your toes are parallel to the target line, then hopefully the knees will be nicely in line as well. However, what can often happen is for the hips and the shoulders, they can move out of position. So what what you want to be making sure of as you're getting set up that the knees, the hips and the shoulders are all still parallel to target line. Once you understand that they're all parallel then you can add in your tilts. Now to add in the tilts to the body is very very simple. If you put the club on your nose and your belt buckle as you start your posture then you tilt over and if you can just get the butt end of the club resting on the inside of the leg, what you've now done is added in a slight amount of shoulder tilt, and then as you get set up to the ball, press the hands ahead, and what you've now got is your natural spine tilt. As your right arm goes down at the left, the hips are nicely in line and all parallel, and as you turn away, you can maintain your spine angle to the top of the swing. So once you've understood those basic tenets of getting set up parallel, let's go through a nice little drill that you can use to hit shots. Now you can do this at the home, uh, at the range, or you can do this even without a ball, but just make sure that you're getting these basic setup fundamentals correct. So we've already spoken about the grip and how club face relates to everything in that first video. So I'm gonna make sure that that grip is nice and neutral. I'm gonna start with my feet together at the side of the ball here, just give myself some room between these alignment sticks to hit the shot. Club behind the ball, making sure club face is aiming down target. Little step left and right for the short time that I'm using here. Get my feet flared out so I can turn my hips. Making sure my feet, my knees, my hips and my shoulders are nicely parallel to target line. I'm just gonna add in that little bit of shoulder tilt. You can use that drill with the club as well. I'm just gonna add in that tiny bit of shoulder tilt. Make sure my hands are pressed forward. And then once I feel comfortable with that setup, just go ahead and swing.
So it's a really simple drill to use, but what it does, it just gets you into the correct positions by the side of the ball in as quick amount of time as possible. And the more you complete that drill, the more you check those fundamentals, you're gonna be more comfortable with getting yourself aligned properly to target. Right guys, thank you so much for watching the next video in this Golf For Long series. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Make sure you download your program. Make sure you've gone through this checklist and you are covering all the things that we need to. And we will see you down here next time for the next video, moving on to more of the setup fundamentals that you need to get right to improve your golf. Right guys, thank you so much and we'll see you next time.